after an actor gets their big break, their future in the industry is still at risk of them getting in some sort of scandal that totally kills their career. And this is the case with the people we're going to be talking about in today's video. I'm Mackenzie and let's get into the top 10 actors who ruin their careers in a matter of seconds part 3. Also make sure to subscribe to our new channel Beyond the Screen Elite for more videos like this, it's linked below. Starting off our list at number 10, Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson was known for his roles in movies like the Lethal Weapon series, the Mad Max series, and Braveheart. But now he's mostly known for being anti-Semitic. In 2009, Gibson was arrested for driving under the influence with an open container of alcohol in his vehicle. The officer refused to let Gibson drive himself home, obviously, and then Gibson totally lost it, ranting about Jewish people and saying that they're responsible for all the wars in the world. Gibson even asked the officer if he was Jewish. That wasn't the last time he was caught using slurs either. He was also caught using the N-word on a call in 2010. After this, his reputation took a massive hit. And at number 9, Megan Fox. Megan Fox's career was destroyed after one bad interview. She was primed to be one of the biggest actresses ever, as the leading lady of the Transformers franchise. But in one interview, she completely trashed the film's director, Michael Bay, and was cut from the movie as a result. During a 2009 interview with Wonderland magazine, she was asked about working with Bay, to which she responded that he wants to be like Napoleon and wants to have an infamous madman reputation. But then she said in real life, he's actually incredibly awkward with no social skills at all. Yikes. Steven Spielberg reportedly did not take kindly to her comments, and she was then kicked out of the third and fourth film. After that, her career completely diminished, and she only just started to get back into the spotlight in 2020. In at number 8, Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods was once the most respected golfer in the world, as well as being one of the highest paid athletes. But that all came to a halt when his professional image was shattered after it was exposed that he had cheated on his wife with countless women. It all came to a head in 2009 when he crashes Escalade into a tree in his own front yard, with many claiming that his ex-wife kicking him out caused the crash. After he confessed to all the cheating, his image was ruined and all of his sponsors dropped him. After years of laying low, he came back strong, winning the 2019 Masters, although he is still tied to his party boy image. His career took another hit recently when he veered off a hill and his car rolled down the hill, causing many injuries that might even mean the end of his career. And at number 7, Kanye West. It's absolutely shocking that Kanye West still has a career despite all his scandals. Just some of his biggest scandals have been stealing the mic from Taylor Swift, being a public Trump supporter, and admitting his wife Kim almost terminated her pregnancy with North, along with starting feuds with most of the biggest rappers and singers. But even after all that in a failed presidential run, Kanye still has some of the most loyal fans ever. Some even think that his resiliency might just be in part to PR strategy, as Kanye only really seems to get into scandals when he has an album to promote. And at number 6, Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey, of course, is one of the most talented singers ever. And even though she's gotten into some scandals for shading other celebrities in the past, the thing that really hurt her career was bad lip syncing. And in 2017, while she was performing live at the New Year's Eve show, millions watched as her performance became a complete train wreck. While she was performing the song Emotions, it seemed that her inner ear headphones stopped working and she froze not really knowing what to do. After some terrible lip syncing, where it was clear her voice did not match up, she walked off stage mid-performance. After the fact, she claimed that she was set up by producers, but it was hard to believe and it looked like she was just too drunk to be performing. Halfway number 5, Ashley Simpson. This is one of those accidents that sadly ruined her career. While Ashley was on SNL to perform, her first song went off without an issue, but her second song caused an infamous moment that the internet will never forget. When the music started, the vocals for the track she sang before started to play, making it incredibly clear she was lip syncing. Nobody knew what to do, so her band just kept playing while she danced around the stage and did not sing a word. In the days that followed, the singer was attacked in the media for lip syncing, which is especially bad on an all live show. After the incident, she tried to set the record straight and explain why she lip synced. She told MTV that she lost her voice because of acid reflux, and instead of cancelling the appearance, she thought it was better for everyone if she just faked it. But her career did not recover after that. And at number 4, Ryan Lochte. Ryan Lochte is an Olympic swimmer, and he was known to the world as a heartthrob. He went into the 2012 London Olympics with $2.3 million worth of endorsements. He was even more famous coming into the 2016 Rio Olympics, so his sponsorship deals were presumably even more. But when he didn't deliver in the Olympic Games, it seemed he took his anger out in the form of a lie. The incident was called Lochte Gate where he claimed that he and his teammates were robbed and their lives were threatened by some thugs in Rio. 
After many went out looking for the criminals, he was forced to reveal that he made the whole thing up. In the end, he lost several of his sponsorships including Speedo and Ralph Lauren, as well as his reputation. He was also banned from swimming for 10 months. In at number 3, Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan is known for throwing it down in the ring, wrestling his opponents and putting on a great show. But after an adult tape starring Hogan was leaked, his career was never the same. You'd think it was because of the scandalous nature of the tape, but it wasn't that at all. It was because on this intimate tape, you can hear Hogan saying the n-word multiple times. To make matters worse, many of these racist comments were directed at his daughter Brooke's boyfriend at the time, who is black. He even said on the tape that he would feel better about her dating a black man if he was some sort of basketball player worth millions of dollars. Hogan sued the website Gawker after the fact for leaking the video, and Hogan got a massive payout from the lawsuit because his career was essentially over after that leak. He not only was removed from all WWE events, but he was even taken out of their Hall of Fame. And at number 2, Gilbert Godfrey. Gilbert Godfrey has an unforgettable voice that has made him a household name. After starring in many roles in Hollywood, he made his money by being the voice of the Aflac Duck. Aflac is an insurance company and the duck has been their mascot since 1999. But after he posted an insensitive tweet about a tsunami that killed thousands of people in Japan, he was promptly fired. The tweet said, quote, Japan is really advanced. They don't go to the beach. The beach comes to them. The tweet was made even worse by the fact that 75% of the business Aflac does is in Japan and he offended their largest customer base. And finally, number one, Miles Teller. Miles Teller burst onto the Hollywood scene in Damien Chazelle's 2014 directorial debut, Whiplash, which got plenty of critical acclaim. He even got a role in the Divergent series, which got him a lot more exposure. But his career really hit a snag because of a string of really bad interviews. In a 2014 interview with the New York Times, Teller said, quote, I feel like a lot of actors of my generation are not proper actors. I want to break out of that whole group of actors in their early 20s and really start to put stuff down that lets you know I take this seriously. He even trashed John Cusack after a reporter compared the two of them. Teller said they are similar in some ways, but quote, I don't want his career. In an interview later in 2015, he came off incredibly cocky. The author of the piece even wrote about Teller, quote, So yeah, he's kind of a dick. He started to get cast in things again, but public perception of him is still very bad. So that's off the list. Let me know your thoughts below. But before I go, I'm going to shout out some comments from part two of this series. So Jabbar said, part three is coming up. Good job, Mackenzie. Uh, yes, you are predictor of the future, because here we are. Then Jaina said, Aaron Hernandez was shown to have a dramatic brain injuries from playing football. It said what happened to him, and of course, the murders he committed. What a wasted life. Um, yeah, I did watch that series on uh, Netflix. I don't remember the full details, but I know, I know there was something like that, but it's also like, I guess I just don't understand that. How can a brain injury make you kill two people, two separate people, two totally separate instances, like, for no reason, too. If you know of these deaths, I, I can't get too much into it on YouTube, but like, they are very horrific, let's just say that. All right, guys, that's all for the video today. Thanks so much for sticking around. You made it all the way here. If you liked the video and want to see more, make sure to like and sub to the channel below. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith. Make sure to check us out on social media, and I'll catch you all in the next one.